hey guys so a customer reached out to me that i should create this particular design for her i'll be showing you how i achieved the basket with design okay right at the damp part now what i did was to drop down my sketch pattern and after that i joined both the front and the back on a paper so here is my pattern for the skirts now after drafting out my pattern i cut it off from the knee point okay which is actually where she wanted the basket with design to start from and what i did was to remove the seam allowance because i don't need the basket with design to have joined allowance okay so i went ahead to remove it now after that what i did was to join the front and the back together and then the next thing I did was to mark out all my style lines. You can see the way I joined it. So I joined the front and the back together, right? And you should make sure that the front is on fold, all right? And the back is as well going to be two pieces. Now you can see I use my masking tape to join it together. And after that, here is the pieces I'll be using. I cut out a strap of fabric which measures in height, 2.5 inches. And the length is just long enough. So what I would be doing is to fold in half an inch on both sides. And afterward, I will fold it inward like this. Like, okay, make sure that I have about 0 0.75 inches right there. It's not up to one inch. That is the wideness. Now, after that, I will go ahead and start sewing it on my style lines. So, first of all, I'm going to sew horizontally. And after that, I will stitch vertically just like this. Now, I'm going to move over to my sewing machine so that we can stitch this up together. Here, I am on the sewing machine. First of all, I started off by joining horizontally. Can you see? Now, after joining all my lines that I have on the horizontal axis I'm going to also repeat the same thing for the vertical axis so you can see I've initially joined one before showing you guys I did that off camera and now I'm trying to join the second one please remember that you have to sew on both sides so you can see I'm trying to sew on one part of it after that I will also sew on the other part so I am done with the horizontal axis I'm going to start off with the vertical axis, as you can see. So this is the first part of it. Now, after that, I'm going to for the continue this until I finish up all the vertical lines that I have right there. Okay. So guys, this is so simple. This is how to achieve your basket with design. I've actually done something like this before. Only that that particular one, I made this of a bias. But for this one, I made use of the fabric, okay? And this is the simplest and the easiest way to achieve this. Whether you want to achieve this basket to design in a smaller form, which is going to be more tinier than this one, or you want it bigger than this one, okay? But I think that this is just an average size, you understand? So even though it looks big, but yeah... That I have there was only 0 0.75 inches. You can see I'm almost done and it's coming out beautiful. Okay. So guys, um, you can see this particular um basket with design is not going to have any form of seam allowance. Okay. So what I did was to join both my front and the back piece together on a paper. Now make sure that you are sewing this on top of paper, okay? It's either going to be a white paper, brown paper, or you can actually join your pieces of um, newspaper together and then use it to create your basket design. So guys, as you can see, I have it on my table right now. You can see it's already looking like the inspiration. I also did the same thing for the yoke, which is the upper part of my blouse.